We've got a massive section in here. I uh, managed to pick up this Brisbane Lions one. It is a kid's one, so it's only going to be $3. Uh, and then this uh, State of Origin 25-year one. Just missing the tag there, unfortunately. But $5 on that one. Uh, definitely going to pick that one up too. So uh, first up shop here. Uh, so we are going to 18 today. Um, so yeah, we're going to uh, have a lot of work to do. So uh, let's hopefully find some uh, good stuff today. Just looking at the uh, DVDs here. And something that has caught my eye is these ones here. So we've got Burr Garak, and we've got these ones down here as well. So let's see what have we got. Oops. We've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See if we can find one and two. And we'll, um, oh, Foils War. I think that's a good one too. Um, I'll take that out, and I've got to see how much the DVDs are. But, um, yeah, I think that's a good one. It is BBC, so normally those ones go pretty well, so let's, uh, let's comp these ones up. This is a really old lion's den, Holden SV, um, Bolo, uh, this one as well, look at this, Golden Oldies Rugby. Adelaide 99, that's a cool one as well, 450 that. Uh, this one's called Red, Red Bull Racing, uh, it is signed, would have no clue who signed it, but 650, not too bad. And then this one as well, Queensland Rugby, um, BJR, you do have to uh, look that one up, but 450, that should go pretty well. It is on the Gilbert tag as well, so that's not too bad. So just four out of this one, we're just in the uh, salvos now, so finish up this one and then we're off to the next one. Huge. So we uh, asked if there was any clothes out the back, and uh, she's actually brought this one out. It's a um, polar polar bear by Ralph Lauren. Um, it's actually a single stitch as well. So um, I think I've looked on comps just then. I'll chuck one up on the screen, but it's about fifty bucks for this one. I'm only paying three dollars, so uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, that's why you always got to ask. If they say no, they say no. But. It's on the Canterbury as well, made in Australia. It's sort of uh, similar to the, the one I've got local, the Molondina Lifeline. It's absolutely massive here. Um, we managed to pick up two things, so I did pick up this, uh, it looks to be like a vintage uh, rugby league jersey, uh, player worn as well, it's got the number on the back, and then uh, this one here, it's a uh, Shell Power Caltex, and it's a um, Team Penske, Team Penske uh, sort of like puffer vest, uh, that should go for around 40 bucks. I think they're ten dollars for the vest here, and then the clothes I think are five bucks each. So that jersey would be five bucks, this to be ten. So uh, still looking around, but um, yeah, good start so far. They are Kobe's, but online price is two fifty, so it's a bit much. Alright, guys. Well, just got back. I've just laid out everything that we've uh, picked up today, so let's go through that. Did end up picking up a fair bit of clothes. We'll get to that pile in a second. That was a trade. That stuff over there. Um, let's start off with this uh, Gold FM ninety-two point five uh, vintage cap here. This was actually. 10 cents um it was 20 cents and then they had half price on the shop today so picked that one up didn't actually film this one it was just in and out really quickly and i think i did get this one on film this is like a, i think it's a early 2000s 
uh, blues, uh, sort of like polo rugby jersey, uh, 25 years state of origin one. It is on the Canterbury as well. It is just missing the tag, unfortunately, but should still go all right. Uh, actually, back where I picked up that hat, didn't film this one either, but this was a um, $5 tag, but it was a half price, so $2.50 on this one. It's a uh, vintage Callaway Golf made in USA polo, 4XL. That should go pretty well. Around about 40 bucks on that one, I think. This one as well, this was a, uh, a kid size 12. Uh, I did actually pick this one up because kids, uh, kid sizes were uh, $3. So just picked that one up, thought easy, easy into uh, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So that's not too hard to list that one. Polo, always gonna go all right, especially with the big pony on it. Uh, it is a size extra large. That should be around 35, 35, 40 bucks on that one. Uh, these ones here. Unit and Jet Pilot, they actually go really well, the ones with the girls on them. Uh, paying five bucks on that one, that should go for around 30 to 35 dollars as well. Uh, same op shop was this Red Bull Racing. I actually only just realized it's brand new with tags. It does have two signatures here, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to find out whose they are. But just because it is a uh, brand new one, originally 45 bucks, so I can make about 30 bucks on this one. This was really interesting. I love finding like the really old sort of jerseys. It is a single stitch as well. A uh, golden oldies rugby world festival Adelaide 1999. This is on. Um, good gear clothing. Just like a really old tag. Really old sort of rugby. Um, I thought that was really cool. This one too. This one looks like a really old. Uh, the Lions Den Holden. Holden HSV Racing. Club sport sort of polo. Um, what's that there? Ocean Blue. It's another little tag. $4.50 on that one. Definitely going to pay that because that is a uh, really old sort of polo there. Uh, this one was really cool. So we actually did ask if they had any other clothes at the back of this shop. Uh, and then she was asking out the back and she actually came back with a couple of shirts. And this was one of them. Uh, so it is a Polo Bear by Ralph Lauren. Um, it is a single stitch. I don't know if it's a vintage but I think some of them are still single stitches. The, they are newer with single stitch. Uh, only paying $3 for this one. Size, medium. Good comps on this, around $50 to $60. So pretty stoked that we asked and waited around for that one. So this one was really cool as well. So Finley, went up, who I was with today, he, uh, he went into the shop before me, picked up this one. He knows I love jerseys. So picked it up straight for me. West Ipswich Medical Centre, northern suburbs. Um, I do have to do a little bit more research on this one, but it is on the um, Canterbury tag, Strudy's, um, yeah, Canterbury there. It does have a name there, uh, but it is actually um, a player, player jersey. So we'll have to do a bit more research uh, on that one, number eight there. Uh, same op shop was this um, Thomas Cook, sort of like a um, vest, cardigan sort of thing. Um, but look, $5 on that, she actually um, gave me a bit of a discount on that one too. Uh, that should go for around 30 bucks, I would say. Uh, and same with this one, around 40 bucks on this one. This um, DJR Team Penske, it's like a racing sort of um, uh, puffer vest, I believe they're called. So um, yeah, not too bad on that one there either. Uh, let's move all this stuff back over here. Uh, so I had some uh, stuff for feeling that I traded for him. And this is the stuff I received from him. So this is a um, French rugby league on the Nike tag there. Um, yeah, really nice long sleeve on this one. Nothing on the back, however. Still about a, um, oh, it's got a little embroidery there. Still about a uh, $60, $60 shirt there. This I'm not too sure on. Um, it does have the uh, the vintage Nike tag there. Um, a, I'm not too sure what that is. Could be hockey, could be NFL army on the back there. I'm not too sure. So do a little bit more research on that one. So Kangaroo Island Cup. This is actually a 90s jumper uh, from the 90s. Really old tag there too. Size large. Uh, that one's a really interesting. It's like he's racing a kangaroo. That's actually uh, quite funny. You never really see like uh, Australian vintage uh, stuff a lot. So it is cool to, to see that. Always love to pick up these Canterbury shirts. Uh, the long sleeves as well in a extra large. That should go for around about 50 bucks, that one there. That's a, uh, that's a nice one. And then the best one of them all is this uh, 2003 Raiders jersey. Um, it's got the ISC tag there. Is a size large, 
but um yeah that should go really well it does have a number on the back there i do have to do a bit more research if this is a player issue or player worn jersey but at least a hundred bucks on that one there so pretty stoked with that Alright guys, well I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that button. It really helps me out. If you do have any questions, make sure you leave a comment or you can reach me on my Instagram at OzTreasureHunters. Hope you enjoyed this one and I hope I'll see you in the next one.